Oh my word, selling your home can be such a stressful process, especially in today's market. With the fluctuating interest rates and a changing housing landscape, it's easy to make mistakes that can cost you time and money. Well, in today's video, I'm going to dive into some of the most common mistakes made by sellers and how we can help you avoid them. So let's go ahead and get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you are thinking about selling or maybe buying a home and you will want to subscribe to our channel and tap that bell icon so you don't miss an episode of Virginia Mountain to Valley Living. Hi, my name is Leslie. If you don't know me, along with my husband, Stefan, we get phone calls and texts and emails from folks just like you who are thinking about selling or moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. All right, now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we all know the housing market has been going through a transition. Even though mortgage rates are historically still low, they are higher than some of our buyers have ever seen, which is causing buyers to actually hesitate to make offers on homes. So at the same time, we know that the current supply of homes for sale is in transition as well. And we are still seeing a lower, than, a lower supply of homes for sale. So if you aren't working with an agent, you may not realize what is going on in the local real estate market. And that is what we are here for. We're here to help you navigate this current market. It's so, so important to work with a local real estate agent who is knowledgeable and understands the local market, folks like us. So rather than relying on a non-local information person or site, you may get on the new, you may get some information on the news or the internet. We actually re recommend that you reach out to us to help you avoid the costly mistakes when you are trying to sell your home. So today we're going to talk about five common mistakes sellers can make when getting their home ready to sell. If you want to discuss all the things that we can cover to get your home ready for the market, just give me a call and I'll be happy to help you with a pre-listing meeting for you. As we discussed, real estate is really hyper local. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to some numbers that stretch from January 1st, 2024, all the way through August 31st, 2024. And I'm going to use Augusta County along with the cities of Stanton and Waynesboro for this video. So we currently have a 1.99 month supply of inventory in Augusta County. This means that if no new homes were to come on the market today, it would take us just under two months to sell out of all of the existing homes on the market. We have also seen a list price to sold price percentage at 100.3%. What does that mean? Well, this means that sellers are getting really close to their asking price, which is great news for sellers who are looking to get top dollar for their homes. However, the number one mistake that some sellers can make is overpricing their home to begin with. So many people set an asking price that's too high. Unfortunately, that can deter potential buyers from looking at your home. And it can also lead to appraisal issues and ultimately result in your home staying on the market longer. The National Association of Realtors is reporting that they are seeing many sellers pricing their houses higher than ever before. But hmm, let's see how Augusta County sellers compare to that national average. Are the local sellers really overpricing their homes or are they listening to their agent's suggested listening, listing price? Let's take a look at the numbers. I'm only going to talk about single family detached homes and I'm going to zero in on the sales again in Stanton, Waynesboro and Augusta County. There has been a total of 922 homes sold in that time period. 
the highest price home was $1.595 million. And the lowest price was $35,000, making the medium price hold, sold $305,000. So when we look at the sold price compared to the listing price, we are seeing homes have sold around 98% of their original listed price. So, woohoo! Congratulations, sellers, for listening to your local agents here in Augusta County. These numbers indicate a strong seller's market, by the way. Now, one of the things these numbers aren't showing us is how much pushback sellers can sometimes give their agents who are trying to price their homes, though. I go through an extensive comparative market analysis with my sellers. When I give you a price range to list your house, and sometimes the number that a seller has in mind is maybe higher than I think it should be, I will always say you cannot underprice your home. Trust me, your home will sell for the current, for the price that the current market demands, okay? Slightly underpricing your home is actually a marketing strategy that I use. You may want to consider this as this can bring about a higher than average sales price for your home. When we've used this strategy in the past, we often get multiple offers that drive up the price of the accepted offer, okay? So, I know this video is mainly geared towards sellers, but let me insert a word of caution here to those buyers out there that may be looking at this. If you are looking to purchase a home here in Augusta County, Stanton or Waynesboro areas, you need to have pre-approval in hand and your real estate agent on standby as the median days on market is just six days. This means that it's really important for you to have your ducks in a row so that you can act fast when you do find a home that you absolutely love. So the list to sold price percentage is sitting around that 100.3%, right? This indicates that homes in this market are selling for slightly above that list price on average. So. As a buyer in a competitive market, you are going to want to talk to us about all the strategies we have found that work to make your offer stand out from all of the rest of the offers a seller could get. Overall, the real estate market in Augusta County, Stanton and Waynesboro is looking really strong with low inventory, quick sales and high list to sold price percentages. So if you're thinking about selling your home, I want you to pick up that phone and give us a call, send me a text or shoot me an email. Think about all the equity you could be cashing out of right now. So let's move on to mistake number two. Home buyers are going to turn on the lights in the house. They're gonna flush the toilets. They're going to run the water. If these basic things don't work, buyers are going to assume you've skipped out on other maintenance items in your home. So homes that appear neglected are likely to not fetch top dollar. It's tempting to skip all those little repairs and maintenance tasks thinking you can address them later if the buyers say that they want them to be addressed. However, these really minor, seemingly minor issues, they can really turn off potential buyers and it can lead to lower offers for you. A study actually by Money Talks News found that buyers are more likely to make offers on homes that appear really well maintained. So my suggestion, let me take a look at your home before you decide to list it. Kind of like a pre-listing appointment to discuss potential issues and recommend necessary repairs before we list your home. We can also advise you on staging your home to make it look a lot more appealing to buyers. All right, so let's move on to mistake number three. Not looking at things objectively. Hmm, it's natural to feel emotionally attached to your home. However, it's really important to remember that selling your home is a business transaction. 
When you receive an offer, don't take it personally. I know it's easier said than done, but don't take it personally. Instead, work with us as your agents to negotiate a fair price. It's our job to help you stay objective and to focus on the business of selling your home. We will also help you negotiate a fair price, so nothing's off the table. So this brings us to mistake number four, and that is being unwilling to negotiate. Whether you are selling in Augusta County, Virginia, or someone, somewhere else in the United States, you need to understand that buyers are always looking at their options. What do I mean by that? Well, buyers are looking to negotiate not only on a price, but also on repairs, closing costs, and in some cases, a seller concession to maybe cover all or a portion of their agent's compensation. As a seller, it is really important to be prepared to negotiate and to find a mutually beneficial agreement. This is where we, as your agents, help you as the seller understand the current market conditions and to advise you on how to negotiate effectively. We're also here with our seller's net sheet to help you determine your bottom line and to ensure that you don't sell your home for less than it's worth. Okay, let's move on to that fifth and final mistake that we see sellers making and that is not using a real estate agent. Oh, oh my word. Who would not use a real estate agent to help them sell a house, right? I mean, we've actually had calls from folks who've tried to market their house on their own and then they end up calling us because they found out that it's super frustrating. We understand. As a seller, you want to pull as much equity out of your house as possible. And some sellers think they can accomplish this by avoiding the agent compensation. Well, Stefan and I addressed a lot of the misconceptions of FSBOing or FSBOing your house in our video, you don't need a realtor. We were actually contacted this spring from a seller who tried it for one day to sell their house on their own. That was all he could take. Once he and his wife were inundated with spam calls and buyers trying to set up showings, they finally reached out to us to list their house for them. As agents, we have the experience, the expertise, and all the resources to help you navigate the selling process and to get the best possible price for your home. We're here to help guide you through every step of the selling process from pricing and marketing to negotiating and to closing. By avoiding all of the common mistakes that I've mentioned in the video today and working with us, you can increase your chances of selling your home quickly and for a very fair price. Remember, selling a home is a really complex process and having the right guidance can make all the difference in the world. To learn more about how we can help you sell your home, please call us, text us, email us, schedule a Zoom call with us. Let's work together to achieve your real estate goals. But until next time, I'll see you around town.